Okay, so when do we use chroma blur? We use chroma blur anytime we're going to do something like a chroma key using a file format that uses 411, 420, or 422 type chroma subsampling. We don't have to use chroma blur when we're using file formats or codecs that are 444 color sampling because all the pixels already have color information. It isn't just when we need the chroma blur, it's where we apply it that makes the difference. The chroma blur should be applied as the first effect or filter in a chain. You would apply it before applying the chroma key. Let's go to Vegas and use it there. Click on the Video FX tab in the docking window. If it's not visible or has been closed, press Alt and 8 to restore it. Now scroll down the list of effects and grab your chroma blur and drag it onto your green screen footage. Go ahead and make an initial setting, probably medium blur, you can always change it later, and you're ready to drag your chroma key or into position. A good setting to start with on your chroma blur would be medium for 411 sources and light for 420 and 422. When you end up building complex chains of effects, make sure that your chroma blur ends up first in the process. If it doesn't, you can always drag it to the front of the line. You can also add the chroma blur at the media level so that all events that use that clip are preset. To start with that, go ahead and click on the Project Media tab. If it's not visible, press Alt and 5. Right-click your source clip and select Media Effects. In the dialog, select Chroma Blur and Chroma Key. Click the Add button and click OK. Do the settings as you normally would and it will appear in all the events.